From the beautiful Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen to picturesque wooden villages and stunning pastoral scenery, Denmark is many things to many people. This tiny country is actually the oldest kingdom in Europe, and that means there's royal heritage to spare. We have a tremendous amount of castles, that's right. Denmark is a little land with a lot of noblemen, and, and uh, in, a, in a kingdom like Denmark, it was very common to put up castles, and, uh, uh, well, everybody wanted to live in that way if they could afford it. The most famous castle is Kronberg. You might be more familiar with its fictitious literary name, Elsinore. Shakespeare never actually came to Denmark, and Hamlet existed only in the realm of fiction. And while no royalty ever lived at Kronberg, the handsome castle still managed to enjoy a formidable reputation. As you see it today, it's, it's not very uh, threatening, but at the time being, it was threatening because together with a, a small castle at the other side of the sound, it formed the entrance to the Danish waters. That meant that any ship passing through there had to come in to the castle and to pay what it costed to pass through the sounds. Otherwise, they would point at them at, with their guns. Frederiksborg has a more peaceful reputation just a half-hour train ride from Copenhagen, the beautiful Dutch Renaissance castle is straight out of a fairy tale. Home to Danish royalty for over a century, the castle you see today is not exactly what Frederick II bought all those years ago. The Frederiksborg Castle history starts with the name of the man who bought it, namely Frederick II. He bought it from a nobleman and then he moved in there himself because he liked it. But his son, Christian IV, he wanted to have something more big, and uh, that is what you see today. It is the construction of Christian IV and not of his father. The castle actually spreads across three small islands. There are impressive fountains in the outer court and grand collections of paintings and tapestries inside. On occasion, when the lavish king brought his entire court with him, there were hundreds of people living here. In English, Edgkoff means oak forest, and that's exactly where you'll find the 450-year-old Edgkoff Castle. It actually sits in the middle of a lake in the forest, and it's the best preserved Renaissance moated castle in Europe. Originally built for defense purposes, the castle is now surrounded by a 15-hectare park. The spectacular gardens date back to 1730, and make sure you visit the maze. In case you find it daunting, there's a reassuring sign outside. Every autumn, they check to see if anyone is lost amongst its twists and turns. If you thought that was fun, Legoland might just be your cup of tea. This theme park has small-scale replicas of famous buildings from all over the world, including lots of castles. Don't miss the perfect petite model of Emilienborg, Copenhagen's royal residence. If you think you can match this Rococo masterpiece, you can even set about making your own. But don't leave Denmark without visiting Ermitagen. You can ride a horse and carriage up to this 300-year-old Royal Hunting Lodge, which is just a 20-minute train ride from Copenhagen. There's no touring inside the manor house, but come at the right time and you'll find plenty of action in the park outside. For more information about castles throughout Denmark, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.